Hey everybody, uh, it is a garbage day. It is just, the weather here is crap. Uh, we're on the brink of World War III. Thanks Russia, jackasses, Putin, go. Anyway, um, yeah, and I'm always, I'm worried about money. I have no idea how I'm going to pay for the basic necessities of getting through life. All right, capitalism. Um, so yeah, instead of sitting here moping, I'm going to try some cool things that my friend Mara sent me. Uh, first off, we're starting with pot noodle. This is a king pot noodle, so it's it's taller. It's got a little crown. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is Bombay Bad Boy Flavour with an extra U, because that's why. Um, so already, this smells good. It has, there are a lot of seasonings. Oh, yeah. Already in the, the noodles, uh, there's actually a powder that covers everything. There are some peas and some corn. And let's see, the... Top of this has a little message here. I'm going to see if I can tear this off without completely, utterly destroying it and also not scalding myself with hot British noodles. Um, oh, less time cooking, more time chasing your dreams. Because that's literally what everybody eats pot noodle for. Is, you know, I don't have time to be in cooking something. I can't heat up some beans and put them on some toast. Oh, no. I'm eating from a cup. Because I'm chasing my dreams. I'm going to keep telling myself that. Thank you, Pot Noodle, for setting me straight. So, um, already, these are these are still kind of cooking. The, the thing that I noticed about these, these aren't ramen, really. They're not. They are kind of clumps. And there is a giant clump of flavorant material in the middle of them. So, I'm going to let those soften a little more. These also come with a sachet <laughs> of um it says unleash what's inside pot noodle and then on the other side it says add some hot sauce so add it hot sauce so yeah there's there's no pleasantries it's not like please unleash what's inside or would you care for some hot sauce no it's add some hot sauce unleash what's inside Arrgh! so yeah um as soon as these get you know soft enough to manageably eat i will do that you're supposed to put the hot water in and again there's this they're still in this large block you know it's like uh okay guys you know is that is that normal is that supposed to be what's happening here um so i'm going to kind of keep stirring these and trying to get them to separate because i feel like a lot of the sauce is contained in that block of various things there so i don't want to skimp on that um, somebody pointed out to me back when I did the wrap snacks tests that I hadn't stirred one of them enough or something. And so, uh, you know, that's cool. I'll, I'll, the next time I have those, which is never, I will uh, make sure to do that. So just got a messenger from Sarah. We're going to put that over there. Talk to you in a minute, Sarah. Um, <laughs> it's fun. And, uh, so yeah, we're going to stir these up again and yeah, they're still a little, a little uncooked, I guess, but it says two minutes. It's been more than two minutes, and I'm not going to argue with Pot Noodle's instructions because screw that. You know, the last thing I need is some noodles made in the UK to come beat me up. You know, that'd be a real shame. Knock out the teeth that I've been needing root canals on. That'd be bad, you know, like then I wouldn't have any teeth, and then I'd have to extra cook my noodles. So this looks like just a regular red hot sauce. And uh, so, yeah, it smells actually kind of like a cleaning product, but, you know, we'll give it that. And I'm supposed to stir this in. So maybe these will be really spicy, and I'll be shocked, and I'll be in my, you know, have my die box phase, where I'll be like, oh, my God, I'm tripping. Um, I don't know. But so far, they smell good. They, I, I don't, they don't smell like a curry, necessarily. I'm not sure what flavorant this is but it has that very rich heavily spiced flavor you know middle eastern indian especially um smells good so we'll go with that so um i i don't say it to dakimas with british food which this is so i guess i'm going to tuck into this um you know all my british friends feel free to british scottish irish welsh other Commonwealth countries, please feel free to tell me what I should say before I eat my pot noodle. So maybe I am so drunk. <laughs> pot noodle. Hmm. 
The noodles are not anything what I was expecting. They're almost like a, they're thick, but they're still kind of toothsome. And again, it's had, you know, it's supposed to, I think total cooking time is like four minutes. And it's had definitely that. Um, but they're good. They're, they're, the noodle texture is actually really good. Not a ramen at all. And I don't think it's even trying to be, but yeah, almost like a thin egg noodle. Um, good tooth, good, good, a little bit of chew there. The sauce is good. It's, um, spicy. It's a little flat. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of depth to it where I'm getting spice flavor when I'm tasting it, but you don't have this kind of overall richness and everything. It, it, it seems like it kind of comes and goes very quickly. Um, hmm. Again, these would, these would make a really good side dish for something. If you made some of these and had, you know, like a chicken cutlet or something like that, these are a, they're good. They're just a good little dish. Um, a good little dish. That just sounds awful. Um, the sauce is a little thick. It's a little clingy. That's nice. It's not brothy at all. It's, it's, it is a sauce. Um, These are good. I have heard some kind of, you know, put downs about pot noodle, um, about them being, you know, not suitable to eat, such and such. But I, these are fine. And I believe these are vegetarian, maybe? Um, I don't know. Lots of chilies. Oh, it says may contain milk, eggs, celery, and mustard. So maybe vegetarian, not vegan. Um, the they don't actually list sodium; it, they just say salt. But they say one point five grams of salt for the entire thing. So um, da, 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 da. okay, so five hundred and fifty-one kilocalories, which in America we just call calories. So you know. <laughs> this, that, and that's that's a third of what you're supposed to eat in a day. So you can eat three of these a day, and that's your calories. So that's that's good to know. You know, I, from now on, I just buy pot noodles and uh, you know have three of those a day for the rest of my life until I die. That'll be cool. That'll be uh, fun. So I'm sorry. I'm still slurping. Slurping. Slurping slurping these but it's just habit when i'm eating noodles and these are not really you know necessarily slurpy like i said they're more of a a sauced egg noodle um they are spicy and there's a bit of heat there's a good amount of heat but it's not overwhelming in any way and it's it's definitely not budok daibak nothing like that even with that chili sauce and that, that hot sauce it's got a nice there's a nice nice burn but the flavor is good the texture of the noodles has really held up better than I expected. I thought these would turn to mush, but they they have really held up. And with the sauce, um, they're nice. But like I said, I think these would be a better side dish to a couple of other things. And especially with the sauce, to have something kind of that you can, you know, dip, like I said, a chicken cutlet, something like that, into this. would be really nice. So... Overall, if um, you can get some pot noodle Bombay bad boy, I like these. Out of a 10, 1 to 10, I'm going to go an 8 on these. Um, that The flavor, like I said, I just wish there was more of an overall umami flavor. Maybe, you know, and again, you know, these are, these are seemingly vegetarian. Why ruin it? You know, if this is vegetarian food, if this is something that you could eat every day, this is fine. Um, it's just that flavor is a little flat and it just doesn't have an overall richness that I care for, but that's fine. These are not in any way. I've tried vegan noodles. I've tried vegetarian noodles. These are the closest thing to something that you would eat by choice as opposed to, well, I don't want to kill animals. So I'm going to eat this thing, and it sucks, but I'm going to do it anyway. This is actually pleasant. 
and they're they're quite good. So like I said, I'm going to give these an eight. So now I'm going to go get the Iron Brew, and we're going to give that a try. Okay, here we have a little 250 ml bottle of Iron Brew. This is one of the favored sodas of Scotland, as far as I know. Um, I believe that, I, I think Morris told me that the ad campaign for it was, it was made out of girders, like iron girders. Uh, there supposedly is a substantial iron content to this. I haven't done the research because I, I, I don't want to ruin the magic. But I love the logo, and I'm a graphic designer, and so I love that the logo is literally an I-beam girder. So I-beam because it looks like an I. Uh -huh. So it's an I-beam girder, iron brew, very cool. Um, also, it doesn't say please recycle. It says recycle me. It doesn't say please scan. It says scan me. There, it's Are Scottish people just very demanding, or is this bottle, is this drink very demanding? That's what I want to know. I wanted to try this for years. Thanks again to Mara for getting me this. I realize you probably had to break some sort of international trade laws or whatever to get it. Um, but yeah, and they're still they're, it's still fizzy, so that's awesome that it, it got shipped all the way over here. So cheers to Mara. Um, here we go. It is a lovely, you know, pale orange color, and nice and fizzy on the pour. Sort of a what am I gonna say? Sun kissed. Not quite that orange. Not quite that artificial orange, but lovely. Um, a very nice pale orange. So, the nose, oh my god, that smells so good. It smells like bubble gum. It smells, it actually smells like there was a candy that was not bubble gum that was flavored like this when I was a kid. God, that smell, that, that, that is a delicious, delightful, nostalgic smell um, with iron. I don't smell iron, actually, so. I'm amazed at how fizzy it is. It's still very fizzy, having traveled from Scotland. Um, the initial drink is delicious and really good, really refreshing. It has a bitter aftertaste that I wasn't expecting, and it's not nearly as cloyingly sweet as I thought. When I first smelled it, I'm like, this is going to be like heavily sugared bubblegum. It doesn't taste like that at all. It's still, you still, you, that smell is, is really effervescent, and you're really getting a lot of that smell. But there's nothing cloying about the flavor. It's actually, like I said, there's a bitter back end to it. This is really good. Um, I'm not going to say... It, this, is, this is now within my top ten of sodas that I enjoy. I'll say that much. It is not... Like I said, I can't get over how not sweet it is. So used to, you know, the U.S. now everything is high fructose corn syrup. And then you get the throwback sodas and like Mexican Coke and stuff, which is cane sugar. But just the levels of sweetness. Um, I want to make sure this isn't. No, it's saying that, you know, okay, 49, 49 calories for 250 mils. Um, no, it says, you know, the second ingredient is sugar. So it's not... It's not bitter from artificial sweeteners. Sorry, I keep doing my glasses, guys. They're broken and they won't stay on my face. And, uh, yeah, plus it's probably a nervous habit at this point. But, okay, so this has sugar in it, but it's not overly sweet. It's not like they cranked it up like this. It, I don't even know how to describe this. It's like an adult soda. It's a soda for adults that smells like a candy shop and bubble gum. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, yeah, it's really good. I definitely can see this being good in cocktails. 
I'm not sure what, you know, liquor to put in it, but it has that cleanness that you get with like tonic water. Tonic water is a little sweet, but also a little bitter. So if you put a liquor in there, it kind of mixes up nicely and doesn't become cloying. You know, you don't, tiki drinks are delicious, but tiki drinks are tiki drinks. If you want a cocktail that's a soda cocktail, to me, you want a balance of bitter and sweet and the alcohol flavor or whatever else. But man, this is this is really good. And I can see this, you know, again, I, I believe this is a, a known hangover cure. Uh, I can see this being something that you could put down after a hard night and not feel awful after ingesting it. Um, my hangover cure back when I was seriously drinking, when, you know, I was pursuing it as a professional career, was a bottle of Gatorade, two Alka-Seltzer in the bottle of Gatorade, and a um, Hostess fried cherry pie. That was, that was my morning thing. And then if I could hold that down until noon, then it was usually uh, Skyline Chili. And if I could eat the Skyline Chili and hold that down, I was good for the rest of the day. But that, that initial thing. So I, I can see this definitely as something, you know, wake up in the morning, have a nice cold iron brew, assuming they're, they're served cold. I, again, I don't know in Scotland if that's the case. Uh, I enjoy it cold. It worked here. So yeah, I want to say iron brew is good stuff. And again, if you can get this, try it out. Um, if I'm going to do a soda rating, so maybe that's what I should do is noodles and soda. I don't know. But this is, this is a nine. I, that bitterness is a little off, but it's still nine out of 10, still a great score. And this is, this stuff's delicious. So <sighs> I can see why Scottish people enjoy this. Thanks again to Mara for sending that. It was truly special to be able to finally taste that and to be able to say, Hey, I have had iron brew too. So I hope you're all doing well. Let's not get into a third world war. Nobody needs that right now. Um, other than that, I hope you're all great. Oh yeah, shirts. I've got uh, Rose Ramen Reviews. It's a cartoon that I drew of my head as a cup of noodles. They're on uh, my Spreadshirt store. I'll put a link in the description. Um, yeah, hopefully next video I'll be wearing one. I ordered one and have not gotten it yet. Uh, my buddy Clark Payne ordered a couple of them for a newborn member of his family. And he said that it's, he's, they've already gotten theirs in California, I think. And that the baby looks good in them. And so I'm going to say, if you feel like putting Brian Rowe's head as a cup of noodles on your children, follow the link below. Or if you want to do that for yourself. I mean, we all need a little more Brian's head as a cup of noodles or something. Anyway, I hope you're doing great. I'm going to turn this off and belch really loudly. Bye.